Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to go over our spelling words for the day. Make sure you're participating well using your hands and fingers, big words in two syllables and sounds. Try to say everything with me so you learn how to spell English words and write in your very best handwriting and include all the appropriate spaces, rules, and markings. So the first word for today is the word specify. So I want you to specify which one you want, right? So there's an arrangement of things and you're trying to pick one out, you specify, you pick out the one that you want. Specify, base word, specify. Specify. S-P-E-S-I. Okay, specify, and on spes, because it's followed by an I here, I get to use a C. Okay, spes. I-F-I. S-P-E-S. Rule two. I. Once, rule five and six. All right, so English, um, so on here, C may say S when followed by E I Y, rule two. Five, Y may say Y at the end of a syllable. Six, English words can't end, I see a Y. Now the next word is specified. So once you specify the one you want, it's in the past tense, you specified it, okay? Specified, base word specify, and it's, or um, word is specified. Base word specify, ending duh. All right, specify, change the Y to an I, and add ED to make specified. I'm adding my past tense phonogram. Specified. S-P-E-S-I, duh. So what I did here is I had F-I, change the Y to an I, but then I added ED, and so I created that new phonogram. The IE phonogram, right? Specified. Spec. I. Fied. Markings. S. S. Rule two. I. I. Rule twenty four. So we're going to underline that once. I'm going to put two above it, but then I'm going to underline the ED as well. The duh, put a two above it, and that's rule 28. Specified. So C may say S, followed by E R Y, rule two. Change the Y to an I, the y it I to an I, rule 24. Past tense phonogram, rule 28. Now, the next word, we're going to treat it as its own base word, but you can think it's closely connected to the word specify, and that is specific, right? So here, if you, once you've specified which one you want, it's a specific one, right? It's unique. Specific. Base word, specific. Spe-sif-ic. S-p-e-s-if-ic. Specific, okay? Spe, sif, ik. Sp, e once, rule four. S, rule two. If, ik. Specific, right? E may say e at the end of a syllable, rule four. C may say s, followed by an e or y. Rule two. And then, if you are being specific about something, it is specifical or specifically, right? Uh, not specifical, but specifically. Like, which one do you want specifically? Okay? Specifically. Base word specific, ending al li. I write specific, add al li to make the word specifically. Now, why do I not change this C to a, um, why do I not double the C here? The reason I'm not gonna do that is because the accent is not back here. Specifically, accents on the first syllable, so I don't double this C, okay? Specifically, spe, sif, e, cal, le. Sp, e, s, e, f, e, a, ul, ul, e. 
specifically. Spi, sif, i, cal, li. Sp, e once, rule four. S, rule two. I, i, k, l, a. Eh, all, all, I, rule six, specifically. And because this is an ending, we don't mark it as rule 29, even though this L is making sure we don't say that. It's an A. All right, we'll brace all four of those. Now, the next word is universe, uh, universe right? It's like the whole... Everything that is, is made up of the universe. Everything that's physical, okay? Universe, base word, universe. U, ne, verse. U, n, e, v, er, s, e. Universe, er, of her, and this is ness, okay? U, ne, verse. U, once, rule four. Mm, I, v, er, once, s, e, twice, job, five. No job, e, but probably there just so it doesn't look like a plural. Now, the next word is universal. All right, so what is universal? Universal means that whatever it is, it's good for everything, right? So uh, one way to think about it is like a universal remote, right? You have a television, you lose your remote. You go to the store, and they have a universal remote. And that means it's a remote that works for any television. You do some stuff with it, and you can use it for any television. It's good for everything. Universal, base word universe, ending L. All right, universe, without the silent final E, because my ending L starts with a vowel. U, N, V, R, S, A, L. U, N, I, V, R, S, A, O, universal. U, ne, verse, oops, yep, ver, then sal. U once, rule four, n, e, v, er, once, s, then rule eleven, a, l, universal. Rule four, you may say U at the end of syllables. Rule 11, I had to get rid of the silent final E because my ending L started with a vowel. Rule 11. The next word is university. Right? So university is a place that you go to study. And the idea is, is that the university exposes you to all of the knowledge. Right Now, in our modern era with the internet, we can find knowledge in all sorts of places. We don't have to go to a building. But back in the day, if you wanted to know something, you had to go to where those who knew were at, right? And so you went to the university, because that's where the, the collective knowledge was. University, base word universe, ending I, T. I write universe without the silent final E and add I, T to make the word university. U, N, V, R, S, T. U, N, I, V, R, S, I, T, I, university. U, N, V, R, S, T, university. U, once, roll four, N, I, V, R, once, S, rule 11, I, T, I, rule 6. Okay, so here, you may say you at the end of a syllable, rule 4. I had to get rid of the silent final E, because my ending I, T, starts with a vowel, rule 11. English words can't end I, so use a Y, rule 6. And we'll brace those. The next word is vacuum. Right, so you can think of this in two ways. You can vacuum with a vacuum cleaner, right? Or a vacuum is something in which um, there is almost no matter, right? So you think of um, like outer space, 
that there are particles and atoms floating around, but very, very far apart, right? Maybe one for every cube, whether on Earth there'd be, you know, millions or billions of atoms, right? So there are very few things. It's a lot of emptiness, a lot of nothingness. So that's what a vacuum is, like in a scientific term, right? Vacuum, base word, vacuum. Vac, you, um, vac, you, uh, mm. vacuum. So it has a W there, okay? Vac, you, um, vac, you once, rule four, uh, mm. vacuum. All right. I think that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, perfect. The next word is vague. So if someone's describing something, but they don't give you a whole lot of details, it is vague. Vague, base word vague. V A G E, vague. Now, this E here is making sure this U doesn't come to the end of the word, but the first thing it does is it jumps over both of these and lets this A say A, right? Vague. V a g e vague markings v a once g once e once vague so vague means having not a lot of detail so if someone says hey do you remember when we went to this place and we did this and and maybe you kind of remember it but not really you might say i vaguely remember it okay vaguely base word vague ending le all right, vague, add le to make the word vaguely. Vague, le, v, a, g, e, o, e, vaguely. Vague, le, v, a, once, g, once, e, once, o, e, rule six, vaguely. All right, that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.